Coaches, welcome back to this week's PGC Coaches Circle. And this week we have two basketball tips for you. The first, we're going to focus on how to build leaders within your program. And the second, we're going to focus on how to use your dribble as a weapon. Coach? Yeah, so building leaders in your program and establishing who's going to be the leaders within your program is not an easy thing to do. We all battle and struggle with this all of the time. A couple things that you should be thinking about. First of all, you can pick captains if you want, but you can't pick leaders. Leaders are going to rise to the top. And sometimes, here's the catch, is it's not always the people we want to be the leaders that are the leaders. So you got to pay attention to that. You can't just name a couple people the leader and say, that's who's going to lead our program if nobody's following those leaders. So as you're just establishing what your leadership culture looks like, be conscious of who the players are following. If you pick the captains, they may not be the leaders. If you have your team pick it, it may just be their friends. But who are the players really following? And if it's a problem, let's say that the leader is not somebody that you want that's causing a lot of disruption within your program, you're going to think about how you have to solve that problem. It may be time to get rid of that person. It may be time to have more conversations with that person. The first approach I would take is if somebody's a leader in your program, but it's not necessarily who you want it to be, can you pour into them and build a leader out of them? At least help them along the course to becoming a better leader because people are going to be following them. So just pouring into the people that you want to be captains or leaders may not be the right, right approach. And really quick, Coach, just to round this up with the basketball tip, uh, we want to encourage athletes to use their dribble as a weapon. Uh, so often we fall in love with this Vine culture where we see somebody get crossed up and see it on the top ten, and that's the thing that athletes want to fall in love with. How many times can I cross somebody up in a possession? Uh, I, I look at it like this. You wouldn't send any soldier into war without a weapon. Any good soldier would know when and where and why to use that weapon. And a dribble is the same exact way. Why are you using it and when are you using it? It's an important question for an athlete to ask themselves to make sure they're being efficient and effective with their dribble. And as a coach, you can help that in practice. Put in rules into your practice that make players use it efficiently. For instance, at our session, you might have seen P dribbles before. If a player is dribbling multiple times in one area, that would be a violation. So what rules can you put into your practice where players actually turn the ball over if they're not using their dribble as a weapon? Coaches, enjoy today's All Access. Freeze where you're at. Look, look, we're, we are not making anybody better. Give Mike the ball right here. We're not making anybody better if this is what we're doing right here, okay? That doesn't feel like game pressure at all. So as we're slapping hard, we're getting in here, we're fouling, we're holding back up, we're making them better. Everybody got that? All right, here we go again. Let's go. Change levels, change levels. Eyes up, eyes up, Emerson, eyes up. Hey, freeze, freeze, listen, hey, and I know, you know, it's a simple drill, but if you, have you ever seen a really good NBA player that can't own their bubble? Right? I mean, you ever seen an NBA guy when he gets pressured feel like he's panicking? Right? I mean, that's, that's growing man business right there, being able to handle the ball. So as you're doing that, changing levels right here, seeing the floor, a guy like Magic or something, they don't put their head down while somebody's in their bubble. You've got to be able to own your bubble with your head up. All right? This is part of being a player. So it's really simple, you know, subtle thing, but we're going to watch video of our last game, and a lot of people didn't own their bubble. Right? This is, we, we've got to get better at this. So eliminate turnovers. 30 more seconds. Here we go.